Hi, this uh, video is to show you how to um, enter a garnishment on an employee in scissor tail. So uh, the first thing that we would need to do is we need to pull up our employee. And so we can either type their name in either search box or we can go to the uh, team icon under my team go to employee information for the entire list of your employees. So then the next thing that we would do to enter the garnishment or the child support, I should say, is to click on the employee information, drill down into their record, go to their payroll tab, and then go to the deduction section. Here we're going to add a deduction for the child support. So we're going to click the three dots, say new deduction. We're going to choose child support for our type of deduction. And then we can enter the information that we find on the court order. The beginning date should be listed here as well as the end date. We're going to apply it to all regular pay statements. You're going to put the uh, obligation date according to the support order as well as the case number and the FIPS number if that's available. You're going to determine the amount that's going to be withheld based on the court order. Then you'll put the amount in here, as well as the maximum. According to what we've got here, our work state maximum is 60%, 60% according to the state of Oklahoma. So I usually just follow that and put that in there, but your court order will also tell you what the maximum is. And then you can choose your disposable list. There should be a list set up for you that says disposable earnings. The frequency and is every scheduled pay. And then you're going to select your state that this is going to. And that should cover everything. When you save and add, it will then add this child support garnishment I'm not going to put an end date on here because it's child support. Uh, it will go on until it's paid. <clears throat> Let's say the obligation date and a case number. Got the disposable earnings state of Oklahoma, when I save and add, now I have the option with this paperclip to attach a copy, a scanned copy of the uh, court order. That is highly suggested. Um, so definitely do that if you have that scanned copy or the ability to scan a copy and attach it. That's all you have to do to complete a uh, child support order in Scissor Tail. Good luck.